In 2025, the Avia Star facility, an affiliate of PJSC Il, located in Ulyanovsk, manufactured seven new Il-76 MD-90 military transport aircraft, representing an important milestone in the long-standing and challenging revival of Russia's heavy military transport aviation sector. The facility has established a definitive goal for the imminent future. Within the next two years, annual production is projected to increase to 12 aircraft. This objective demonstrates both increasing industrial confidence and the strategic significance of re-establishing large-scale airlift capabilities that previously characterized Soviet aerospace strength. The IL-76 MD-90A represents much more than just an evolution from previous IL-76 models. It represents a highly advanced Russian aircraft that significantly differs from the widely produced versions of the Soviet era. More than 70% of its systems and components have been replaced or redesigned, and its maximum payload capacity has been raised from 40 to 60 tons. These modifications substantially enhance the aircraft's capabilities for present military and logistical missions, while also increasing technical complexity, which has influenced the rate of production. During the Soviet period, the Il-76 was manufactured at the Tashkent Aircraft Production Association, named after VP Chkalov. That factory was intentionally built for large-scale manufacturing and was deeply incorporated into the wider Soviet industrial framework. Components were received from multiple manufacturing facilities distributed throughout the USSR, and the extent of collaboration enabled production levels that are difficult to imagine in the present day. For many years, Tashkent maintained a consistent supply of L-76 aircraft to both Soviet military and international export clients. The dissolution of the Soviet Union resulted in the swift termination of this system. Production chains became disjointed, subcontractors either ceased operations or underwent ownership changes, and ultimately, the Tashkent facility was closed down. When Russia undertook the initiative to resume Il-76 manufacturing within its own territory, the objective was not to relocate an existing production line, but to establish a completely new facility. Ulyanovsk was designated as the new hub for Il-76 manufacturing. However, by the late 2000s and early 2010s, the domestic aerospace industry was in a diminished state and possessed limited recent experience in the mass production of large aircraft. Consequently, nearly all aspects had to be rebuilt from the ground up. Supplier networks, tooling, production documentation, workforce competencies, and quality assurance systems. This fundamental discontinuity accounts for the slow and uneven progress of the initial years of L-76 MD-90 production, despite considerable demand from the Russian military. The commencement of Il-76 MD-90A production in Ulyanovsk was characterized by delays and suboptimal output. For an extended period, annual production quantities of one or two aircraft were regarded as standard. In certain years, such as 2016 and 2017, no aircraft were delivered. These setbacks underscored the complexity of the industrial challenges involved, rather than indicating a lack of interest or dedication. The circumstances started to shift incrementally near the end of the 2010s. By 2018, the manufacturing process had begun to stabilize, and in 2019, three serial L-76 MD-90A aircraft were ultimately delivered to the Russian military. This signified the official start of stable manufacturing operations. Three additional aircraft were produced in 2020, confirming the plant's ability to sustain at least a modest production level. In 2021, merely two aircraft were delivered. However, this decrease did not indicate a decline. That year, a new assembly line was established, integrating more advanced manufacturing methods designed to accommodate increased production volumes in the future. The advantages of this investment became apparent shortly thereafter. Beginning in 2022, the production of Il-76 MD-90A entered a period of consistent expansion. Five aircraft were delivered in 2022, 
with an additional six in 2023. The same figure was achieved once more in 2024, signifying that the facility had established a stable operational rhythm. In 2025, the output further increased to seven aircraft, representing the highest annual total since the commencement of production in Ulyanovsk. Looking forwards, prospects remain cautiously optimistic. In 2026, production is projected to attain a minimum of eight aircraft and may approach 10, contingent upon the successful execution of current plans. By 2027, the previously articulated objective of dispatching 12 aircraft annually is expected to be ultimately realized. This figure is especially significant as it reflects current domestic demand levels and serves as the baseline for a fully operational production line. Beyond this point, aircraft manufacturers and government officials have deliberated on more ambitious objectives. Once the line has been completely optimized, production targets of 18 and even 24 aircraft annually have been identified as long-term goals. At present, however, the primary objective remains the achievement of 12 units annually, which continues to guide all efforts. The gradual rate of production cannot be understood without recognizing the significant differences between the IL-76 MD-90A and its Soviet predecessors. Although the external appearance may appear familiar, the aircraft is fundamentally a new generation. It is equipped with PS-90A76 engines, which offer enhanced fuel efficiency, increased propulsion, and improved adherence to contemporary operational standards. The wing has undergone a redesign, structural components have been reinforced, and the landing gear has been modified to support greater loads. Avionics and onboard systems have experienced even more major changes. Contemporary navigation, communication, and flight control systems supplant the analog equipment utilized in previous decades. Defensive systems capable of addressing current hazards have been incorporated, reflecting the conditions of modern combat scenarios. All these enhancements substantially improve the aircraft's performance, while simultaneously augmenting the complexity of its manufacturing and integration processes. Consequently, resuming IL-76 manufacturing did not involve merely reproducing an outdated design based on existing documentation. It necessitated the creation of new procedures, comprehensive testing, and the instruction of personnel skilled in contemporary aerospace technologies. Although progress has been made, the production of the IL-76 MD-90A remains subject to limitations. Heavy transport aircraft depend on a broad array of specialized components, and maintaining a dependable supply of these parts continues to present a significant challenge. In certain regions, domestic manufacturing capacity has required swift expansion, whereas in others, new collaborations have been formed to substitute previously imported components. Workforce-related challenges also contribute to the situation. Large-scale aircraft manufacturing requires the expertise of highly experienced engineers, technicians, and assembly personnel. Building up this human capital following decades of underutilization requires a significant amount of time. The implementation of automated and semi-automated assembly methods contributes to decreasing labor demands, while also necessitating retraining and adaptation. The Aviastar facility has been sustained by ongoing modernization efforts. The implementation of flow line assembly, robotic stations, and precision measurement systems has enhanced both quality and efficiency. Nevertheless, such modifications seldom produce immediate outcomes. Refining production processes is an ongoing process, and transient bottlenecks are nearly unavoidable. Although the number of new aircraft manufactured in Ulyanovsk thus far remains modest, Russia already manages a substantial fleet of Il-76 aircraft inherited from the Soviet era. By early 2026, open data estimates indicate that as many as 200 Il-76 family aircraft are operating within the Russian aerospace forces. Military transport aviation. This figure encompasses tanker variants, such as the Il-78, 
along with the 37 newly manufactured Il-76 MD-90A aircraft produced in Ulyanovsk to date. Furthermore, it is estimated that between 40 and 50 aircraft are currently stored. Other Russian government agencies also operate Il-76 aircraft, including the National Guard, the Ministry of Emergency Situations, and the Border Service Aviation of the FSB. Fewer aircraft are operated by diverse civilian operators. Precise figures remain indeterminate, as official inventories are not disclosed, and various registries frequently generate divergent estimates derived from publicly available sources. Nevertheless, it is unequivocal that the Il-76 continues to serve as the fundamental element of Russia's heavy airlift capacity. Apart from Russia, Il-76 aircraft remain in operation across approximately 30 countries globally. Many of these aircraft were delivered following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, notably throughout the 1990s, when post-Soviet states exported significant quantities of airframes internationally. These aircraft established a reputation for durability and adaptability, which contributed to maintaining demand over several decades. Looking ahead, Russian authorities have explicitly indicated that the export of the Il-76 MD-90A is incorporated into their long-term strategic plan. Nevertheless, export deliveries will only be feasible once domestic requirements have been completely satisfied. Present discussions indicate that exports could start approximately in 2030 and will initially involve modest volumes. Currently, the primary focus is on fortifying the national fleet and maintaining stable production. Currently, an annual production of 12 aircraft is deemed adequate to meet domestic demand. Higher production rates would be required solely after the signing of export contracts or the procurement of additional variants, such as specialized tankers or airborne command posts, in greater quantities. The resumption of Il-76 manufacturing in Ulyanovsk exemplifies the significant challenges involved in re-establishing extensive industrial capacities once they have been reduced or lost. Beginning with an extended period characterized by minimal output over several years, the program has progressively developed into a stable production initiative with a target of delivering seven aircraft annually by 2025. The forthcoming years will be crucial. Achieving a target of 12 aircraft annually by 2027 will signify the definitive completion of the shift from experimental recovery to sustainable serial manufacturing. If this objective is accomplished, it will not only fulfill Russia's requirements for heavy transport capabilities, but also establish a foundation for future growth and export opportunities. The L-76 MD-90A is no longer simply a legacy aircraft restored out of necessity. It has emerged as a symbol of industrial renewal and adaptation, exemplifying how a complex aerospace program can be restored under difficult circumstances. Although the tempo may appear modest relative to Soviet-era benchmarks, the trajectory remains evident consistent growth, enhancing competence, and a gradual restoration of scale. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.